Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the inspirational channel that goes behind the scenes, interviews some of your favorite artists, entertainers, and much more. So we're back again with another Tech Tuesday. These are helpful videos that help you guys out there that are looking for some editing, some 3D printing, whatever uh, technical advice you guys uh, uh, need, we try to help you out with that, and we do these as bonus features. So today we're back again with the uh, Creality CR6 Max 3D printer. So we're going to be talking a little bit here, as you see in the picture, the extruder and where the filament uh, goes through. We've been talking a lot about uh, filament issues and we've had a lot of questions um, from you guys out there about uh, some filament issues and hang ups and um, and wondering where the filament can get uh, stuck within the lines and some of the and you guys also let us know some of the issues that you guys have found. So. So today we had a question about the filament up in the extruder um, about how tight you should tighten some of these and or the other question was the filaments breaking. So they kind of both related to the same you know question. So wanted to show you within that uh, some of the issues that we have you know uh, saw ourselves and uh, witnessed ourselves and then help you out with that. So you'll see here the gear it has very, very good teeth still left on this gear and the roller is still in really good shape. And in a lot of these, this one doesn't show it, but there's, uh, you'll see in some of the other pictures that we show, um, there's bearings in here and those bearings can also get dirt, dust, debris in there. So those are good to replace as well. So we're gonna go over to the other picture that shows you um, an issue with this gear um, this will help you with the one question you had in in regards to the filaments not feeding. So you'll see here, this is um, the extruder here that we have located on our printer. We've already taken the filament out so you can kind of see, but you see the gear, this is just over time from use. Um, and we always try to get as much use as we can out of these gears, even though they're fairly inexpensive. Um, but you'll see the teeth on this gear are worn out. What happens is the filament, you, you can try to you know tighten the spring and move this in more um, to push up against the gear to make the filament go through, but it will start skipping and it will start making it so the filament doesn't feed uh, real well. And then your 3D print mold is just, it doesn't look well and, and uh, the uh, filament does not lay right. So you don't want that. So just uh, go ahead and then replace this gear if it starts wearing out or replace them you know depending upon your use as, as long as you we like to have these open uh exposed areas a lot of these are covered but this way you can actually see the gear um and when it starts getting worn down or even if there's other issues which we'll talk about but this gear is worn down so just long story short replace this gear and we'll talk about the other gears and everything uh within future segments now another issue that we see and we'll go to another picture is on these gears. Uh, these are the gears uh, that are new and these are from Creality. Uh, you can buy them in packs of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever you want, uh, depending upon how much printing you're doing. But you can see these gears, these are brand new gears. Uh, they still have a plenty, plenty of teeth left on them. Now, another issue that we see is the gear itself in this picture here will over time if you have this too tight the filament will wear and get stuck in those gears so when it keeps getting stuck in the gears then it almost becomes just like this gear where it's worn out and then the filament just slides on it and it doesn't go through um, so make sure you clean that out or brush all those out around that gear keep the gear clean if the if there is filament stuck in there um, and then maybe loosen this a little bit. There's, There's gotta be a reasoning why there's so much filament getting stuck in there if it happens quickly. Now, if it doesn't happen quickly and it's just over a long period of time, it's just, just needs cleaned. Um, but we'll talk in the next segment about the, some of the tightening and uh, other issues that can arise in the filament. So we hope this helps uh, in regards to that and we'll see you on the next one.